Go to my website at nevergames.com to download copyright free and fresh assets. Hello guys and welcome to third video of block breaker series. In this video we will create the movement behavior of the player or the ball and for this we have to create some scripts as well as update the player controller script. We will perform the following tasks in this video. First, update player game object. Second, create ground script. Third, update player controller script. Fourth and the last, create player prefab. So guys, let's start our project by updating the player game object. Click on player and go to rigid body and here set the simulated to false set angular drag to 0 and set gravity to 0 0.01 in collision detection select continuous and in interpolate select extrapolate okay and in constraints freeze z axis now move the script inside the scripts folder now click on create and then select physics material 2d name it bounce create a separate folder for bounce and name it physics material and move the bounce in physics material folder now click on bounce and set the friction to 0 and bounce to 1 ok so our physics material is ready click on player and then drag the bounce physics material inside the material of rigid body 2d now the player is ready now let's create a script for ground click on ground then click on add component and name the script ground open the script delete these two functions for now create another function void own collision enter 2d and then create a parameter collision 2d and name it call so this is a built-in function of unity game engine it is used to detect collision between two objects create a if statement inside the function and that if statement says if call dot game object dot tag equals to bowl prefab then destroy that game object by using destroy function destroy and then call dot game object okay so the script is ready and the role of the script is to destroy ball prefabs move the ground script in the scripts folder and now we will update player controller script So first of all let's create some new variables serialize field private vector 3 ball direction we will use this variable to move the ball in a particular direction according to the input now create a public vector 3 ball landing position we will use this variable to store the landing position of the ball 
now create a private boolean bool release now create another variable public boolean ball moving then serialize field then a private variable int balls amount is equals to 1 serialize field create another private variable of type int and name speed and set it to 9 this will be the speed of our ball and the amount ball will be used to specify the amount of ball then create a serialize field again and create a private variable ground and ground instance this variable will give us the reference of ground script serialize field private rigid body 2d ball prefab and this variable will give us the reference of balls prefab so guys before updating the fixed update function let me explain something so guys i specified this ball as the player game object but in actual gameplay this ball will move in only x direction and to suit the blocks we will use its prefabs so that we can easily destroy and instantiate them so let's start updating the fixed update first of all we will write code for the boolean ball moving by using an if statement that says if game object dot find ball prefab clone clone is necessary here then ball moving is equals to true else ball moving is equals to false means if the ball prefabs are moving on this screen then the ball moving prefab will be true else it will be false now let's write a new if statement that says if ball moving then get component sprite renderer dot enabled is equals to false that means if the ball prefabs are moving on the screen then we must disable the player create another if statement that says if ball is not moving then get component sprite renderer dot enabled is equals to true means if the balls are not moving on the screen then the player ball will be visible and also we have to translate the player ball at the position where the player prefabs was destroyed so for this transform dot position is equals to new vector 3 ball landing position dot x comma transform dot position 
डोट वाई कोमा ट्रांसफॉर्म डोट पोजिशन डोट जेड एंड ऑल्सो कॉल द कंट्रोल प्लेयर फंक्शन इन दिस इफ स्टेटमेंट Now we have to create another if statement that says if ball released then input instance dot release no not release swipe delta is equals to vector 2 dot 0 means we are setting the swipe delta of input script to 0 after this set the ball release to false we will also declare a function in this if statement later so let's create the function this function will be of type enumerator and let's name it wait to release ball in this function create a for loop in for loop int i is equals to 1 i less than equals to balls amount then i plus plus inside the for loop create a rigid body 2d variable and name it ball instance equals to instantiate ball prefab comma transform dot position comma quaternion dot identity so this variable will store the ball prefab then ball instance dot velocity equals to ball direction multiply speed means sending the ball in the player's input direction we need a little gap between spawning balls so that they do not spawn at once so for this write yield return new wait for seconds 0.1f and because of this line we can make a little gap between multiple balls okay so the function is ready now let's call this function in this if statement by using the start coroutine function in this function use wait to release ball as a parameter and we are done we have to do one more thing that is to update the control player function so in this function jump to this if statement and set ball direction to sd dot normalized means storing the user input inside the ball direction variable 
and then bol prefab dot simulated is equals to true after this bol release is equals to true so the player controller script is ready and now we need a player prefab for this create a folder and name it prefab now duplicate the player game object and delete the arrow from the duplicated object and then rename the duplicated object to bowl prefab remember the b and p should be capital now drag the bowl prefab inside the prefab folder we also need some modifications set simulated to true and remove the player controller script then add a new script name it bowl prefab open the script delete the update function now we will create a private variable to hold the reference of player controller script so it will be of type player controller and name it player instance let's declare the player instance inside start for this player instance is equals to game object dot find object with tag and the tag is player then dot get component player controller and that is it now create another function void destroy destroy function is a predefined function in unity and this function is called when the object attached to the script is destroyed inside destroy player instance dot bowl landing position equals to transform dot position so the role of this script is to send the destroying position of player prefab to the main script all the scripts are ready now go to editor select player and set its tag to player after this go to player prefab select the tag and then click on add tag then click on plus symbol and name the tag bowl prefab same as we write in ground script okay select the bowl prefab again click on tag and then select bowl prefab okay now let's initialize the variables drag the ground game object into the ground instance and the bowl prefab into the bowl prefab variable so let's check our improvements click on play button and as you can see the ball is moving in correct direction but wait something is wrong here the landing position is incorrect i think the error is in the bowl prefab script oh here it is the function is actually on destroy not destroy so change it to on destroy save the script and then check the project so now you can see the ball is moving correct and landing on the correct position as well so that is it for this video friends if you like this series then please 
subscribe and let me know if you have any problems ask me in the comment section and thanks for watching